favorite spot. And when I say our favorite spot, what is this, our fifth, sixth year, Tim, here in this gazebo this spot? This is our sixth year here. And I'm here up chatting with my very good friend and longtime associate, Tim Surprise, the second, the second Michigan Brewers Guild president. Some folks don't know that. Tim was around, and he was the guy that actually brought this festival to Ypsilanti from another town that we won't mention just in case some of those folks are out there. But he was the guy that brought this festival here many, many years ago, and you got the gazebo spot, and you started a river trend. Tim, talk to us about what's going on, and what are you... What's happening in the well, world? Well, it was Arcadia. kind of fun uh, six years ago when uh, Rick Suarez, our sales manager, Josh Davies at the time, our head brewer, they saw that the gazebo was empty. Nobody was really paying any attention to it. And uh, we decided to kind of make a statement. We, we partnered up with uh, our friends at Livery Brewing and, uh, and uh, had a great time, and we've been here ever since. So I'm delighted to see that the riverfront here. That, oh no you know, doubt, man. we, made, we crazy. made the move. You know, after year one or two, you brought over, everybody to it. Oh, from Frog Island Park over here to Riverview. But um, what a tremendous venue this has been, Rick. Uh, I mean, the, the breweries, the the, the the space itself has kind of evolved so that there's a lot of excitement from the beginning to the end and everything in between. So give the guild and 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 our and our craft brewing culture a lot of credit well and it's tough to keep tim's attention because the duck just went by and, and of course he's you know immediately focusing on it tim's a river guy and if you don't know uh tim and arcadia have expanded over the last year two years now probably seals like five by now but they're in down kalamazoo in downtown kalamazoo right on the river talk to us a little bit about that site and what's well, happening down well, there well probably that had something to do with why we wanted to be on the gazebo to begin no with five years it. ago not uh, a coincidence I'm a, I'm, i grew up on the hudson river in upstate new york so a really unique property that used to be a power plant for 70 some odd years in Kalamazoo, generated fly ash, electricity, and a lot of you know environmental nonsense. So I was the crazy, or we're the crazy uh, company that wanted to open up Pandora's box. But we have 400 feet of riverfront that gives us a really unique opportunity, not only for us but for the Kalamazoo community. Right across from the Kalamazoo River Valley Trail, our cheap date has a one percent of everything that we sell on that goes to that trail but it's I, you know we're trying to reclaim part of the river for the city and it's worked out pretty you well you have and you're being pretty humble about the work that you've done down there but i mean let's there's right now we're working on more continue there's always a project going on uh we're working on uh, uh funding some uh, renovations and more investment into that uh let's, let's you, talk we, about we that. have a 400 foot riverfront garden and launch project going that gives us uh the chance to have a canoe kayak launch uh, a, a, a council fire circle pit, uh, an outdoor venue stage uh, that gives us the chance to do a For lot the of public. Yeah, and and uh, a regulation shuffleboard court, a, a a putting green for disc golf, and uh, and uh, a, a, just a really nice outdoor space that's very distinctive and unique in Kalamazoo. So really privileged to be the stewards of that. Well, project. if you haven't been down there yet, please uh, trust me on this one. Make a trip down there. And by the way, the the, the queue. The barbecue is outstanding. It's exquisite. Um, this man, yeah, magician in the kitchen as well. But no conversation with Tim Surprise. We, we would be remiss if we didn't talk about beer a little bit. So let's talk about what's happening at the brewery right now, beer-wise. Well, I, if, you get, if, if, if you do anything, get a picture of this lineup that's available here today. It reflects, I think, uh, the best that we've had in a number of years, no certainly out of, the, out of the new facility and our existing facility in, in, uh, in Battle Creek. But... Uh, very, very blessed and thank, thankful to be able to be in a position where our capacity for the first time out uh, strips our, our current sales so we can continue Let's to grow. Let's try and fix that, eh? Yeah, yeah, we'll fix that in a short <laughs> order. But, but, you know, we built a brewery to go from 15,000 barrels to 30 or 40 or 50, and, and we got that done last year. And, and that's a big step for us. And, and you know, we're not going to be on the scale of some of our brethren in this industry that goes hundreds of thousands or millions of barrels. But our, 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 our kind of our plan and where we want to go is deeper and, and further closer to home. And that, and that means a lot to us. Well, Dave Sipples make a great product down there. And, you know, as for Arcadia, if, if, if you need to revisit it, come back and revisit it. The, the brewery is state-of-the-art down there. They're making some terrific balanced liquid. And I'm not just saying that because I'm standing here next to Tim Surprise. I drink it. So ask for it. Bring it to your pub and try an Arcadia out where you're at. Slanjava. Slanjava. Thanks, Ricky.